Hi there. My Castle Ripper's walk today will take me all along the beautifully rugged steps of the staircase to the panoramic view of the landing. This stretch of staircase is known for its mythical landscape and its special quality of light. It's said to have inspired artists for centuries. So walk with me and have an adventure that you'll never forget. Today's 26 step walk is bookended by two beautiful stairs. One at the bottom and one at the top. But it's got some challenging bits in the middle. I'll be starting at the bottom of the staircase then following each step until I reach Land's End or as I call it, the landing. I'm told the light and beauty of a landscape staircase is like walking through an art gallery. So, before I begin, I want to get some pointers from a local resident with a keen eye. Norma is one of the UK's most important contemporary artists and as a dedicated environmentalist her work celebrates the staircase world. Hello Norma, how are you? What's this? Extreme painting? Extreme painting? It certainly is! <laughs> so, through my gallery! Well, you've, you've got it here. I love the way you splash and, and use your brushes. I go for the conventional unconventional please adhere to my gallery please have to go around the back I might have to climb this fence oh here we go oh there we go hi Norma Do you hang your paintings up often, Norma? As often as I'm allowed to hang up my paintings up. Because there's some people who do, do not appreciate staircase art. No. It's a it's kind of like a, an up and down thing as far as popularity is concerned, isn't it? It certainly is. <laughs> and the last time we came, we thought we were trying to <laughs> Well, that would have made it difficult to, I to, to paint. I do <laughs> My latest one. Oh, wow. That's the staircase. Oh God! That's See the little darling going up to the bedroom. That's unbelievable. So Norma, why do you think staircases in, in this area are so enticing? I like the dramatic places. Yeah. Yes. Um, the marginal places where the elements are coming at you from full force. Staircases and the roll. That's what gets me going in the door. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> wow. Norma Ord, staircase artist at work. Something you don't see every day in the snow. We've got loads of collage on here. First, like the Hessian uh -huh. and the granite. I like to get involved with would include everything, the geology of the place and the pink work. Just in snow. Interesting. Now you have a lot of tension then, Norma. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there's been quite an argument about the light, the rugged, the wall, the areas that were standing natural beauty. Just 
porque eu vou me dar com você. It's been an absolute delight, Norma. Thank you very much. I'm so gracious that you've come to my gallery. And you, will, will, will this be on the web? It will indeed. Will this be on the Twitter? It will be on the worldwide staircase web. Oh, the worldwide, the Facebook, the worldwide web? It will indeed. Oh. It will indeed. Well, thank you very much, Norma. You're welcome. Um, The first part of my walk brings me to the bottom step. Wow, we could be in Jesmond. But that's no ordinary bottom step because every bottom step in every household across the world has played a pioneering role in global communications. Let me demonstrate. Mother, are you still on the toilet? Because I'm desperate. It's a bit mad, isn't it? <laughs> we begin our journey from the bottom step, heading up towards the headland, right top of the staircase. It's very steep. However, it's worth it because the staircase itself is home to a very special place for fairies. These doors are built into the infrastructure, constructed by the hands of fairies and are magical portals to their world. This one has whimsical written all over it. Well, fairy door. Uh, a beautiful, charming portal. Fairyologists tell us that we can't travel between these worlds. Only fairies can, which I think is a bit shan. Like. They also tell us that fairies are sometimes believed to be demoted angels, or demons, or their spirits of the dead, or of nature. And some people, bless them, think fairies are a soap or a washing up liquid. You have to be reasonably fit to do this challenging walk. After all, there are 13 steps up and 13 steps down. And be careful because there are some deadly drops on the way. On this side, you have blowholes that plummet all the way down to the coffee table. I mean, it's probably scary and steep. And then, on this side, you've got a sheer drop to the living room carpet. I'm finally approaching the landing. I'm nearly there. I haven't got in here on foot. I feel like I've earned the view. Woohoo! Here we are. Fantastic. What a landing. And the air. The air is so fresh. This is the perfect panoramic stairscape of Casa Ribas. What a magical spot. It really is breathtaking. But I have one little treat before I go and watch Breaking Down. I mean Julia Bradbury's Devon and Cornwall Walks. Now, now I'm partial to a little outdoor activity, but never ever had I thought I could have so much fun indoors on a staircase. Watch this. Barrister sliding. Let's have a go of this. Very good. Here we go. Oh, oh, 
My three god guns. Extreme stair surfing. Surely, extreme stair tobogganing. That was good, yeah? Pet charisma, stair fall. Say, don't try that at home. But I already am. And finally, the classic bog roll toss. Households all over the UK play this game. It's I can't be bothered to take the toilet roll upstairs event. Catch Michael. Oh, never get it first time. Here we go. First fault. Catch it, Michael. Oh. Try again. How oh, am Michael? At least try. Yes. Sadly, we've come to the end of this adventure. This challenging walk has been filled with picture-perfect landscapes, drama, extreme activities. It's been unforgettable. Join me again next time for another Casa Ripper's Walk. Bye. Hello, is that the psychiatrist? Yeah, I need an appointment. I need counselling badly. You'll never guess what I've seen today. Oh my word.